Hello, how are you? Hey, today I want to talk about a terribly good new television series which I have just emerged from watching. It was so good and relevant that I thought it deserved its own special vlog. It is called Three Girls and it's a three-part British drama written by Nicole Taylor and directed by Philippa Lothorpe and it's based on the horrific true story of the grooming and sexual assault of a group of young teenage girls in Rockdale, England between 2008 and 2012. I'm not the only one impressed by this series. It was recently nominated for three BAFTA awards. It took home a couple of awards, including Best Miniseries and also the Leading Actress Award for Molly Windsor. This was the shock of the night because Windsor had to get through Claire Foy for The Crown and also Tandy Newton for Line of Duty to win, but she thoroughly deserves the win. The series also won a handful of BAFTA TV Craft Awards, including the awards for writing and directing. Hey, take a little look at this. There's no such thing as a child prostitute. What there is, is a child who's been abused. The nine men have been released on bail. How many victims? 47. And when they went to the police, nothing was done about it. No one bothered. What do you think that does to a kid? What is the point if a jury is not going to believe she's telling the truth? I watched her interviews, and I believed her. The critically acclaimed, award-winning drama, Three Girls, begins June 3rd on Rialto British. So yes, the series kicks off on Rialto British on Sunday, June 3rd, and the story focuses in particular on three girls, relative newcomer to the area, Holly, who is played by Windsor, and two sisters that she befriends, um, Ruby and Amber. Largely left to their own de devices, Ruby and Amber have come under the influence of a group of Pakistani men who buy them food and give them alcohol in exchange for sexual favours. Um, Holly, struggling to adjust to changes at home, is drawn into their circle. But the abuse doesn't stop there. These men pimp these girls out, something that they manage through manipulation and literally threatening their lives. When Holly's family almost wins their daughter back, these men threaten Holly with harming her younger siblings. There are many fascinating aspects to this story which are portrayed in the series and how these young girls find themselves in this situation is just one of them. What Taylor nails brilliantly in this series is the lifelong impact on these young girls and their families and it's not just from the abuse but also from the way that they were treated by the police and the prosecutors who decided the cases were too difficult or too political to follow through with. Of course these were the people who were supposed to protect these girls and it wasn't just three girls. Turns out it was hundreds of them. It is a shocking story, brilliantly brought to life in this hard-hitting and emotionally raw series. The sense of time and place is genuine. The series has an intensity that never lets up. The pacing is spot on, but it really comes down to the spectacular performances, especially by the young cast. A very talented trio of young ladies. Look, it might not sound like a barrel of laughs, but this is a story worthy of your attention. Three Girls kicks off on Rialto British on June 3rd.